what? Just to celebrate us all being together. Aww. Immediate. That's, <laughs> that's not a, what you meant. Are you going to know where to cut? That's why. <laughs> yeah, sure. We can do that. Oh. Yay, Gabby. Yay. Okay. All right. I'll stop when you stop. <laughs> I'm never stopping. Tina, you know, do you know that also. you're the second recurring in-person guest we've ever had? Only second? Yeah. Who was the first? No. We've had Chris Sure. We've also had Shava. Yeah, but they, they were on Zoom. They were on Zoom first, at first. Yeah. And then we've had... Um, oh, you know, David Dobbins is the only pr- other person who's been live uh, in person twice. Yeah. Whoa. Also to talk about Selling Sunset. <laughs> Both... Wait, they all came on to talk about Selling Sunset? No. But we, we are thinking seasons. of transitioning this to a Selling Sunset only podcast. That would yeah. be fun. <laughs> kind of like Serial. You what know? would happen now? If- <laughs> <laughs> where they we murder them all one by one, and then yeah. we're like, oh, like who murdered these people? And that's all we talk about. Yeah. What would you do though if the show gets canceled or just like out of seasons? Um. Then we do then gossip done. about them post show. <laughs> Whoa. Retrospectives on each of their lives. We like mm. do like oh, deep dive background checks. Yeah. I'd it's- love to see an Whoa. inside the actors studio type show of like the origins of every single person on it. Actually, I would too because that I- would be fun. Yeah. I need to know people's backgrounds more than what they show on the show. Mm. What are you most curious about? I want people to fact check what they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I want a fact checker, I think. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I know you mean. There are people who like uh, will say things about, well, for Christine, for example, she's like, I went to this alternative school where everyone was dealing drugs. Yeah, that's what I want. That was <laughs> incredible. <laughs> What are you... T- okay, <laughs> listeners, hello. Welcome to Two Nosy Meerkats. All that boring All stuff. That we got boring. Tina Steven oh, over yeah, here. Tina yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Introduce me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want we it? have... Well, Let's the hear best, it. best comedian in the world. Mm-hmm. Someone... In- only so- comedian in the world. Yeah. The only one. We've never mm-hmm. had any other comedians. And this one... Yeah. Extraordinary. She makes me feel yep. like Sublime. there's something in my tummy. Wow. And that is a virus. Uh, yeah. She makes me feel it's sick cool. and disgusting. Like she makes that. me feel like I'm riddled with salmonella. <laughs> <laughs> this is Shakespeare, like a sonnet. <laughs> yeah, we, we should have written a little sonnet about you. Or a haiku. Yeah. yeah. Tina Sieben is a stupid head. I, I lost count of the A stupid syllables. head? A stupid headed bitch. You're at six. Um... So, and then there's a new line. Yeah. Line break. Don't trust her ever. Is that five? That's five. Yeah, you nailed it. I got a haiku. So you nailed that. that. We crossed it. So that don't on a trust her me? ever. That's six. <laughs> <laughs> on a no, wait, that was six. That was six syllables. Don't final. trust her. Don't ev- trust her. Ev. Ev. That's it. <laughs> okay. I cut it off early. That wasn't six. Don't trust her ever. Wait, there was, a, there was a sixth one. Don't trust her ever. So you said so don't trust her ever. No, no, no. So well, you know famously Lucas can't line. count. What? Did you know this? I didn't know this. Lucas, Lucas can't not... count past 72. <laughs> Why 72? Why no, 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 no. I think I know what you're talking about. Is that when yeah, I was... Yeah, of course you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> can you stop interrupting me? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to pressure you. Say what comes after 72, Lucas. Say it. What, 72? 71, 72. Your mom's <laughs> vagina. Have you ever heard Lucas count past 72? No, I actually haven't. <laughs> it's crazy because all of my friends are always like counting past 72. I almost gave yeah. away what the number was, but they're no, always counting all the yeah. time. No, what, what Tina is talking about is that at some point I told them that, um, that when I was like four, I could count to 70. But I had no idea what came after 70. I was I would just like count to seven, like, you know, 61, 62. I would get to 70. I'll be like, no idea what comes after that. That's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy that he never learned. <laughs> but why? Wh- how did you learn the 71 Turns and 72? Turns out you don't need th- that many more numbers to get as far no, as you No, you do can in get life. really far in life without yeah. that block of numbers. Case in point, numbers. this guy. Yeah. That's true. You can. I have a weird thing where I still can't like when I read a number like uh, like on a uh, like a big number when I read it on a receipt or something, I can't sound out what it is called. What? Okay, you know you get the check and it says like sixty two dollars and ninety cents. N- nope, I never get the check. <laughs> Give it to the other person. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know when your sugar mama gets the check yeah, for you. Just have you. No, okay. you have no need for money because you're loaded. Yeah. 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 Tina's so rich and yet makes everyone else pay. <laughs> 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 No, wait, Tina, wait. Tina will give everyone a crisp $100 bill and say, pay it, but they don't pay look it. at the check. <laughs> and then I'll Venmo you, I'll Venmo request you later. <laughs> you pay Down and I'll Venmo penny. request you for whatever you paid. <laughs> so you're paying double. You're double paying, money. Yeah. Get you're double. You're paying so, the check and you're paying me the same amount of the check. So wait, what do you mean? So <laughs> you're trying to read out the number on a check. Let's and... say it's like 6270 or okay, whatever. Okay. And I look at it. I have to really think. I have to be like 62.70. You know what? I, like, I can't just like immediately be like 62.70 literally just the digits and the decimal point that's it yeah that especially with really big num- like i cannot believe i went to a good school and i'm saying this but like i <laughs> i love the way you said that. especially what? really big numbers Yo, they're what's really a big hard. number to you <laughs> a big number is like ten thousand like over ten thousand not that i ever get oh, a check well for i that don't much. blame you for that because yeah there's a lot going on once you get to like five there is a lot, <laughs> there's a lot going on <laughs> no there is i believe that and then you add in it's not it's actually more than five digits because you add in the pennies yeah yeah, yeah. so it's cents. seven yeah yeah why do we still have pennies Crazy. shouldn't they go out of circulation no one's using pennies anymore i wish i had an answer to that i use them you well, use them what do you use them for aim to shoot them in the trash <laughs> That's why you're the WNBA wife. <laughs> and that is why I'm married to the WNBA. <laughs> you're married to the, the entire... LLC. <laughs> Do you have a favorite WNBA player? Um, so full disclosure, I'm kind of there for the culture. I'm kind of there for I'm kind of just getting started. <laughs> Right, 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 right. So you have no but idea I, how the game works? Uh, I mean, I watched a game recently live in how person. Was it? it was yeah. really fun. It was a blast. Great. Uh I did end up cheering for the other team at a certain point. Because, you switched sides? But only because their technique was so beautiful. Okay, that's fair. They were taking three free throws. They were like not even hitting the rim every single time. Whoa. What team was yeah. this? Nothing but net. Okay, Nothing guess. Guess. I think this is. Guess. The name of the team is the Suns. What state do you think that is? Phoenix. Good guess. Well, that's just. That's a, that's a city. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say the Phoenix Arizona Suns? seven thousands. Yeah. Get this, Connecticut. The fuck? Right, right. Oh shit! I thought the announcer was doing a bad job. <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was a bit. Yeah, yeah. it's like, does this guy know? Like, <laughs> we're playing like, Arizona. Oh, this is the Connecticut sunshines and the New Jersey good smells. <laughs> is this guy even aware the sun has never touched the state of Connecticut? That's like, what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, I guess celebrity wise though, Sue Bird. Sue Bird is hot. Yeah, Sue yeah. Bird hot. Wait, I need to know. I need to know who Sue Bird is. Sue Bird is That's um married or disgusting dating. that you don't know already. <laughs> uh, Megan Rapino. Oh. Who Megan Rapino? Final season is like the Kristen Stewart of sports gay crushes. That's a good comparison. I'm looking up because it's Bird. like everyone like claims to have a crush on Megan Rapino, and like Megan Rapino is hot, but like. You're not actually, maybe this is just me, but like, one cannot actually have a crush on the hottest person in the room all the time. You know? Explain. You need a break sometimes? Well, I think, yeah. From having a crush on me, the hottest Mm -hmm. person in the room. You wish. (laughs) (laughs) What are we going to tell him? And that you need a break so you bring me in. Yeah, yeah, I bring you in. I bring in my actual crush so that uh, Lucas can wow. Lucas can take the I can take the heat off Lucas. I, yeah. Because yeah. every other episode I'm just pining over Lucas. I've noticed that. And it shows. You've noticed that, right? I've noticed that, yeah, when I listen. Yeah. What, I are, really, what are the signs? I have to take a break. I have to pause and be like, yeah. You're like, this is a lot. Sexual attention. Yeah. The sexual yeah. attention. I really the hope... one way sexual attention. <laughs> <laughs> I hope some listener, it's like, I hope we get like, this podcast gets like huge and some listener makes like oh, a compilation. Huge. Oh, we're, we're huge. Yeah, yeah. You're saved on my Spotify. That's kind of how you know you made it. Oh, Aww. yeah. Like Joe yeah. Rogan. Yeah, I no. hate when people, I say something and people go, oh. <laughs> I'm, that's how I'm always gonna react, no matter what you do. You it makes make... my skin crawl. <laughs> You're like, I got a Netflix special. You know what, I'm gonna Tina? be like, Aww. I accept that. <laughs> Gabby, don't say anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna let him dig his way out of this yep. big hole. Yep. I accept however you feel. It is okay. You think I need your acceptance, Lucas? I don't think you need anything. <laughs> I think you're an independent person who doesn't need anything from anyone, and I accept you as you are. 
what I was going to say before the sexual oh. tension here overtook everything. Yeah, in that pause, Gabby and Lucas were having sex. <laughs> <laughs> It was crazy. To I be hope here. a viewer <laughs> makes a compilation of like all the like Gabby and Lucas sexy moments or something. Because you know, okay. Oh yeah. What song is playing in the background of that fan cam? It's like Evanescence's "My Immortal." <laughs> <laughs> help! I've done it again, and it's just us uh, and like me giving Lucas like a little touch while he's doing a bit. Just a little. Uh, <laughs> just all the times we've done little bits, and I've been like, ha ha ha. That's a, for viewers listening. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. Stroking his weenie right now. My mom told me I should stop using profanity on this podcast. Really? Wait, how often does your mom listen? Um, I think she listened to like the first ten episodes and gave up. Yeah, that was a lot. Gave That's a lot up. for one person. Whoa. That's I'll say I've never been more thankful to be on a separate couch. <laughs> 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 when was another time you were like oh glad this couch is separate was it a uh, was it on epstein's island yeah oh <laughs> where uh jeffrey and Ghislaine were and you're like i'm glad i'm over here <laughs> on this yeah. other couch. is it Ghislaine or Ghislaine? I, th- I, I i have no idea is she alive yeah okay. no oh you know she's alive and she was on trial recently wasn't she oh yeah and they the court reporter did all those photos of her those yeah. drawings sorry you're not allowed to take photos so they have to oh, draw yeah, you familiar with this concept oh yeah <laughs> i love do that concept that th- do you think that that was uh from the sketch artist lobby <laughs> that they were like hey can we make it illegal to take photos in courtroom to give us work <laughs> they're gonna try and do more of that they're gonna be like instagram is illegal unless you draw yourself everyone Whoa. has to draw Whoa. but then people start you just you can just use that filter where it turns it into a drawing oh yeah Oh, what is you it? Can Microsoft only, MS? You can only post yourself in macaroni art. What I do you would mean like that. In the art. <laughs> like in macaroni. You know, you know how you make like macaroni drawings in preschool? It like has you glue to be macaroni. Used as macaroni. Yeah. Any image has to be in the in the through the medium of macaroni. I think that's a good idea. You say in preschool, but I kind of feel like <laughs> when I came <laughs> over I interrupted Lucas <laughs> like doing macaroni art. He's really <laughs> sociopathic about that. Like, I'll come yeah. over. There's macaroni all over this apartment. Some of it's yeah. cooked. It's cool that you frame it and put it on your walls. I mean, it's really beautiful. Oh, thanks. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you like it. I'll do I more. Do. Yeah. You want it's... me to make you one? A custom? Custom yeah, order? A I commission? Do. How much? Gabby? Uh, mm. Two pennies. <laughs> Gabby sets your two prices, pennies. right? Oh, well, oh, great. Let me look at my trash. <laughs> I didn't want to say this earlier, but when I went into Lucas's room, um, to try and have sex with him uh there was a for a second i, genu- I thought you were real i was like <laughs> when, when were you in my room i was just I was, oh, the, the earlier this morning <laughs> when you were in the shower i was i was here there oh, was yeah. a life-size cutout of you tina made out mm-hmm. of macaroni whoa oh yeah and on the the like where it was like your your jersey like your basketball jersey yeah. instead of saying like a number and a name it said i am stupid <laughs> Can you believe he would do that? Can you believe that jersey cost me two hundred dollars? <laughs> <laughs> can you believe to get your custom last name on there? Can expensive. you believe that you posed for me while I made that? Yeah. Yeah, it took all day. <laughs> yeah. I just didn't know there was such a secret between you two. I don't think it's much of a secret anymore. Yeah. Well, I just said it live. So if viewers are viewers storm into Lucas's house like it's the Capitol riots, that would be so funny. But like, w- and wear the horns and the whole th- and the whole thing. <laughs> it would be so insane. For what? What do they want? <laughs> viewers come into a random podcaster's house like who like bar barstool sports. <laughs> they like they like break into the studio like like it's the Capitol riots and just fuck well barstool up. sports I do think should yeah that fits. They yeah. should that have does, people that storming does fit. there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't understand it at all. It's like the most edgelord, and I love sports, but Barstool is just the most edgelord bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. So you're describing yourself, and this is your, this is your, and I'm really your jealous forte. they won't hire me. Yeah. Yeah. One day you'll get there. One day you'll make it big, kiddo. <laughs> well, go storm them. Join the crowd. Yeah. 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 I'm going to And just sit down and be like, I work here now. Were you at the yeah. riots? <laughs> I wasn't, but I heard you were. Uh, what June's uh, June's June six? <laughs> what? June's, yeah, that was the right. I thought it was. Yeah. I read it on the calendar wrong, and I showed up to the Capitol on June six, and they were like two, two six oh, months too early. Oh, you invites for this? Yeah, it was the Pride Month riot. Yeah. <laughs> we're here too. They segregated all of the gay Trump supporters. 
and they had their own riot that was also a pride parade. Wait, did you guys see um, uh, season two of Tiger King? No, it's. I didn't even see season one. Oh, you. Oh, oh season one's okay. It's good. I mean, it's. I think it's pretty good. You look so sad. <laughs> you look. You look like you auditioned for it, but you didn't get cast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Joe Exotic just wouldn't tame me. Oh. <laughs> can't be tamed. I can't. I'm like Miley, baby. Can't be tamed. And You're just yeah. a feral little kitty cat that can't be, wow. can't be tamed. I auditioned for it. Yeah, I was an actor's equity. They didn't let me. <laughs> they didn't let me be the tiger. <laughs> tiger King. This is a union production. <laughs> like, That's pretty good. Thank you. So what were you going to say about Tiger King No, two? I was going to say about uh, Tiger King uh, season two. It starts off with like a group of people. They're trying to get Joe Exotic out of prison. Spoiler alert, he goes to prison. Uh, and they go to what is going to be the January 6th riots. And the rest of the Trump people are like, no, you guys are crazy. Fuck off. Basically, like, the Joe Exotic people were too crazy for, like, the Trump rioters. And so they left. And then as they're driving away, they see, like, the live results of, like, the of the live reporting of the riots and they're like oh my god we were nearly a part of that and you're and you, you have a camera crew watching them like realize this that's a crazy thing to see to How realize you almost were felt? a rioter yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like politically do you think the camera crew was like thank god i wasn't a part of that or do you think they were like oh man could i got two for one day yeah like, <laughs> <laughs> getting paid to riot getting paid to getting riot. all on film <laughs> so you weren't there Ugh. is what you're saying I wasn't there. Bummer. I know. What about the June 6th riots? Yeah, were you there at the June 6th? Where were those? Um, Same place. Same time. (laughs) Same place, same time. Same time, yeah, just different date. But queer, so not as much media coverage, I guess. Yeah, it was totally erased. Wow. Yeah, you know, lesbian erasure. It was all lesbians, too. It was the Dyke March. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) they went went all the way to D.C. Dykes for Trump. (laughs) (laughs) That's probably a group somewhere. (laughs) They broke through the gates in U-Hauls. If I Google Dykes for Trump, what will come up? Actually, Lucas, that's a stereotype. I'm sorry. (laughs) I'm I'm listening, and I'm going to do better. Lucas, that's really low-hanging fruit. Like Here we are talking about Dykes for Trump. Whoa, saying fruit? Come on. And you're bringing up U-Hauls. Men's liberal women Dykes t-shirt, anti-Trump. What? Okay. No, you know how they sell stuff on Amazon? They just say a bunch of keywords. Um, Nope. No. I'm getting results about Dick Van Dyke. Um, Trump's strategist Trump and liberal women are a bunch of dykes, which T. Um, yeah. Dick Van Dyke says Trump as Only president will ones. lead to Only war. Only the fun ones. Um, th- I don't see... I don't see dykes for Trump. I see in the Trump era podcast or uh, sorry, not well, they podcasts. probably want to use dykes in the Trump era. Comics mm. become a protest tool, which is not true. We Google lesbians for Trump. OK, yeah, maybe it's charged word or something charged mm. like an eye on. I just got a T-shirt that says dykes lumber on the back. Yeah. Lesbians, dykes there's, lumber. Mm hmm. So there's a lumber company called Dykes oh, Lumber. I thought you meant Dykes I Lumber. Dykes Lumber, yeah. yeah. I thought you meant like uh, lesbians who like to sleep. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. That would this be sure is like. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought you said. Oh. <laughs> Tina would wear this. <laughs> What's Lesbi- it say? It's a lesbians for trunk for Trump it's, tank and top. It's like the cut off like tank top. You would yeah. totally wear it. Not with those words on it. <laughs> you would body this outfit. <laughs> I'm still on my parents' Amazon. They're gonna see. I <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea of, the, of your mom going up to your dad and being like, um, did you look this up? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just did have you to get this as a her. gift for our daughter? <laughs> yeah, they're going to be bummed because they're going to be like, but we wanted to get her that. She looked it up on her own. Fuck. Uh, That's no. what they'll say. It's true. Mm. Your grandma's like, oh, I have to get rid of this. Shoo. Shoo. <laughs> yeah, my grandma loves saying that. She loves going, shoo. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, yeah especially when the, when the weather's a little cold. Ooh, it's it's a it's a gradient. It's you when should the weather's adopt that in your everyday yeah. speech. I I actually have. It's very expressive. She does it anytime the weather's a little cold or if there's been like a big riot. She'll be like, shoo. Oh, <laughs> if there's a big riot. So you know winter time activities. <laughs> yeah, I'm too cold for that. Oh, no, ooh, May. <laughs> she loves saying that. No, ooh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so wait, wait, Tina. I want to ask. Did you? 
have you finished season five of Selling Sunset? Like, did you watch all the episodes or no? Yeah, I watched it with you. Yeah, no, but we skipped to the Ooh, final episode. Wow. Do you remember? No, we skipped to the final episode. You do remember that. That's not true. Yes. <laughs> Is that true? Yes. <laughs> okay. No, you came over. <laughs> we were hanging out one day. Later. And then I was mentioning one scene. And so we went right to the final episode. And you were like, oh, I'm only on episode eight. And we're at 10 now. So we skipped like at least one. And I was wondering if you had gone back. Okay, to what's the question? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yes. <laughs> That's why I love having you on. I never know when to cut him to off. slander me and it's like, okay. <laughs> Defamation. When? Defamation. Name one time I've ever tried to slander you. Right now. Just now. Yeah, yeah. what? Slander? Yeah. Yeah. Look it up. But <laughs> by acknowledging that at one point we skipped an episode or at least in your experience there was an episode that was skipped where we went straight to an episode yeah is it to say tina's not dedicated tina's not able to finish something you know it is as if to say that actually i feel like that's that's true <laughs> this is fun <laughs> i love this let's bully lucas let's is, bully lucas this is miss andrew this is miss andrew oh yeah this is miss it yeah you know. oh yeah that's in my twitter bio right now oh yeah you're a, that you're a misandrist. Yeah, I was it's such a, a funny word, misandrist. Misandrist. It sounds like like a sexy. Someone's gonna seduce you. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds dominatrix vibes. Yeah. Who are you? I'm Miss Andre. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I was thinking about? Name. Have you guys watched Brokeback Mountain? I have not. Yeah. It's okay. Remember that that movie is beautiful. I've seen it like upwards of seven mm -hmm. times, but. There's one line that really makes me laugh that's not supposed to be funny. It's when Michelle Williams goes, Jack Twist, Jack Nasty. <laughs> Wait, can you explain the scene to me? I, I'm, I'm lost. It's when Michelle Williams confronts Heath Ledger over like having a gay relationship. Okay. And the, the guy he's like been with, his name is Jack Twist. So she called him Jack Nasty. But the way she, like her performance, like she's eating, like she's killing it. But the line to me is so funny. <laughs> Jack, nasty. <laughs> it feels I like, like misandry. It's very, spo it's it very does, spooky. Yeah. Jack, nasty. It's very. Well, she is. <laughs> she doesn't say it like a ghost. <laughs> yeah, but in my in my head canon, she's saying it like a ghost. Jack, nasty. <laughs> <laughs> and then she haunts him. It's so yeah. weird. Yeah. And then she floats into the wall. Jack, nasty. <laughs> I love floating into the wall. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Basically, viewers, listeners, we brought Tina when, on. When not you guys, I'm sorry. When you guys are talking like back and forth like that, all I can imagine is like my two hands talking. To <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you control us? Is that what you're saying? Are you saying yeah. we're figments of your imagination? A little bit. It's like I'm here, but I'm also like in my head, just like. <laughs> Lucas, Lucas, Gabby, Gabby. <laughs> Are we the two halves of your brain? <laughs> I, how, do you feel like you are? I sometimes do. Who's the right brain? Who's the left brain? Mm. You want to be uh, Gabby's right? Right, yeah. Yeah, Gabby's right. Because I'm okay. always right. Because Gabby's always right. Mm -hmm. And I am a leftist. There you go. Yep. Yeah, and I'm very conservative. <laughs> yep. Politically. So, yeah. I mean, I did just. You're Google a lesbian, lesbian for Trump. For Trump. You're a lesbian for Trump. <laughs> I'm gonna get the cutoff tee. I can I get over how like nice that cutoff tee looks without the words? I love that you really like the design like, of it. Yeah, a customized tank. Like you can probably find it. Yeah. Yeah. It's you can probably like order website. it custom even cheaper. I'm just the worst, the saddest kind of person. A person who orders a lesbian for Trump shirt because they can't find another. Tank top. Tank top. And you just, like, oh. they just want to wear a tank. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. So viewers, listeners, we brought yeah, Tina so on, yes. not just out of the goodness of our heart, not because we want to do our friend a favor, but because we... <laughs> <laughs> not because we want to help our... Hold on, what's we wanted the to favor? toss some air time to an up-and-comer. <laughs> Someone who's really okay. starved. Okay. okay. We wanted to discuss the. They, you wanted to make yourselves feel better about yourself. Yeah. Not. Well, no. Not because we want to make ourselves feel better about this new be weirdo to the comedy scene coming on our pod, feeling, mm -hmm. feeling, feeling yeah. deferential towards us. This ingenue. This ingenue. This to the damsel comedy. in distress. This is like a good time for me to bring up that. 
people probably don't remember me because all you ever say is, oh, our friend Tina. <laughs> 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 what it's, do you have to say about that? It sounds like a, like, sad gay book title. Our friend <laughs> our Tina. Our friend Tina. <laughs> in loving memory. <laughs> it's, it's a required reading in middle school. Our friend Tina. <laughs> it feels like Go Ask Alice. Yeah, and everyone grows up and is like, that was actually a bad book. Yes! <laughs> Wait, that oh. book perpetuated a lot of harmful shit. I, yeah. never, I never read that book. Go Ask Alice. I just listened to a great podcast about Go Ask Alice. It was, you're wrong about podcast. What is asked of Alice? Uh, go ask her to shut the fuck up. No, it's... um, <laughs> She, like, does acid and like that oh. gets her addicted to other drugs which is like so not how it works also apparently she like has sex on acid which like was it good um she says it's, it's amazing did she have an orgasm is it a fictional book it uh, yes it's very <laughs> fiction it was to scare kids away from drugs oh. in the 70s yeah sex on acid uh i've never done it very allegedly the literary wing of the dare program yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the dare program's tentacles spread everywhere I don't tentacles. think it was erotica. They're in your brain right now. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait, you just heard the word tentacles and you thought erotica? Yes. Where else in literary in the literary world are tentacles relevant? Pirates of the Caribbean. And 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. <laughs> you ever watch tentacle and, porn? And and all those children's books about octopus? How many books about octopuses are there? Name them. <laughs> 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 you you brought it up, so I can't. This is why we brought Tina on the this podcast. Is, yeah, this is this content. This is this yeah. is a, because, You're just <laughs> you pit us in corners. No, we don't even I have would to never get into the lore of Selling Sunset now. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, <laughs> okay, we can go back. I to was brought here for a reason. And you guys are like not starting it. <laughs> Well, you're just so fun otherwise, and we would just We wanna... just get so distracted by looking in your eyes. Oh, that's yeah. so sweet. So beautiful. So viewers, watch Selling Sunset if you haven't, or yes. if you don't want to, which I completely understand. Read up on it. See what's happening. Read the book. Read the book. Yeah. Yeah. Read the... They're getting some good <laughs> offshoots, too. Yeah. From Selling Sunset. Yeah, they are. Those. Selling the OC. Selling Tampa. Yeah. And Did you watch up... Selling Tampa? I was like, I love Selling Tampa. <gasps> I watched... Oh, I didn't... I, I saw the first episode. I haven't seen the rest. Really I watched good. the pilot. The women are gorgeous. They're amazing. Stunning. And yeah, they also have good, good drama. There's like drama. real family shit going on yeah. in their lives. I'm car- I'm gonna watch the full thing. Yeah, I haven't seen the yeah. full thing yet. Yeah, selling the OC. There are men on that show upcoming. Very excited. Are they straight? Equality. Mm. I th- I think so. Maybe they you don't... think male realtors got to be gay. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, Gabby. <laughs> no, I'm more. I don't mean it in a bad way. I'm more just like I've never heard that as a stereotypical. <laughs> I thought you were really pinning me into a. No, I'm more just here. like, yeah. is that a thing? Like Gabby's most problematic opinion that she thinks wow. male realtors are gay. Do better. Male, yeah, I think all male realtors are gay. I I feel like, but re- culturally, is that a thing? Society? I don't. I don't think so. No. I don't think so. Let's make it one. <laughs> Okay, starting right now, all male realtors are gay. I, th- I think it's. I think the thing is, I can't imagine a straight realtor, a real estate agent, having a relationship with the Oppenheims, because yeah, like yeah. it's always so like they say it like they're friends, but there is like a little bit of a weird like they go, "Hey, babe, hi, honey, how you doing?" Like they, yeah. oh, and they, they always, dated. they, oh, yeah, yes, they all exactly, dated. yeah, yeah. That's the thing is, that, imagine them just going, "Oh, hey, bro," it's like it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't fit. Like Romaine is has that's the reason why Romaine is so odd is because no one knows how to interact with him. Yeah. True. He's really above it all. Yeah. I also feel like the th- one of the things about Selling Sunset is all the women are very used to like being reality TV'd upon, mm. like being asked mm. questions by producers that will like evoke a certain emotion. Yeah. Which is why like during the reunion special when Jason Oppenheim got asked a bunch of questions about his relationship with Chrishell, he broke down like immediately because I feel like he had been exempt from that. He'd never been like asked hard questions by reality producers. Whoa. Yeah, that's, that's really, really yeah. that's really that's perceptive. 
I never That's thought about insightful. that. I was yeah. very high when I watched the reunion special. So I was thinking a lot of <laughs> oh, things. Yes. A lot of things. The reunion special is fun. I will say, um, who mediated that? Uh, oh, Tan, Tan France. Tan France. Such a good mediator. Amazing job he did. You guys think so? I think he... Yeah. I thought it was so fun. I thought he was a little tone deaf to it all. I, I didn't think well, he was especially perceptive to like what... Wait, describe why. Descri- this is interesting. Because... I thought it. The, I thought when um, Chris Shell was describing her relationship with G Flip, I thought it was insane when Tan France asked if any of them had ever dabbled. Oh, this did. Yeah, yeah, me. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I was like, okay, yeah, it's kind of like Katy Perry vibes. Where it's like, yeah, Ooh, he's been like, naughty. It, it, sh- uh, Chris Shell is like. Can I just say I was wondering where my water went? <laughs> oh, did I drink your water? <laughs> yeah, it's so it's totally fine. Lucas, have your water. It's okay. I'll get have myself. Have your enough. water. No, it's fine. That's yours now. I'll I'll get myself another sometime. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're making us say all of this. <laughs> it's almost like we're figments I'm of Tina's imagination. The strings. I think if I was a figment of Tina's imagination, my life would make a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah. Mine I, only makes sense because I imagine myself as a figment of your imagination. Yeah, more people should do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's healthy. <laughs> Hey, if you don't know me by now, I did create you. That's what you could say on stage. But I will say that um, I think a reason why I think Tina and I agreed that we really liked what how or were impressed by Tan France's like hosting ability is that he was able to he asked every question I wanted to ask. And he never, yeah. it never seemed too much or too invasive. It always seemed like a very gentle, like, oh, would you please? It was very. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like and the I way- thought he did a good job with the pacing. Yes. When he didn't, he didn't linger for too long. Yeah. Like, we got into it. Like, he, the way he asked Chriselle and Jason if there was any chance that they would get back together. If I, I imagined myself in his position, I thought I would never have the guts to ask that question. Or I, w- I would feel so awkward asking that question but it didn't feel even in a position where it's like your role here is to ask questions yeah no i'm too afraid (laughs) and they get paid so i'm sure he got paid like a bajillion dollars to do it how much do you think tan got paid to do that i don't know because i don't know how much they actually get paid for doing the show what is just in general yeah nor do i well christine talks a little about it on call her daddy podcast <laughs> yeah what is interview. wait what is i don't remember did, did she say like the amount or the range she doesn't say numbers she said that there's tiers of how much everyone gets paid and that she negotiated herself a higher rate okay mm. but what i did think was crazy about the way she framed that was she said that originally she tried to get all the girls to band together so they could get paid the the best oh, and, yeah. like all equally and then she was like but you know that didn't work out so like i kind of ended up getting paid the most and i was like <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's kind of like when a little kid goes i got the, i was getting a cookie for you and then you're like i don't want that and they go so can i have it like yeah right she did something sneaky. knowing that it wouldn't that they wouldn't do it yeah or i'm also like did she even do that it's i think it's almost ha, ha, i i don't know a situation where someone's like we if you're the person leading the charge for like getting equal pay how do you end up getting paid the most <laughs> it's like starting a union and then people are a little disorganized about it so you're like oh you don't want to start the union fine i'll get promoted and be I'll all be of your CEO. bosses yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> yeah i i don't know that uh, but tan france like i don't know how much people like get paid to do a reality like reunion special as a host i just imagine it's a lot because he's a name hmm. that's all he is to you a name do you think he do you think he don't <laughs> Well, do you think What's he donated his time? Be like, I just want to moderate. He this. did say he's just like a huge, it, which well, I, I doubt he donated his time. I yeah, maybe maybe not donated, not but really I a charity. Case. I believe that he requested. <laughs> I believe that he requested mm. to moderate it. I think that he may have overheard something at Netflix and that they were going to do this reunion at thing, Netflix. and he was like, "Oh, can I moderate?" Yeah, he was it? just in the building. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just at Netflix, <laughs> the receptionist out front was like, "You hear they're making a reunion?" Tan was like, "What? Yeah. <laughs> no way!" <laughs> I believe it. They called him. They were like, "We'll give you ten thousand dollars." He said, "No, free. I'll do it for. I'll pay you. <laughs> I'll donate my time. I don't know. I'm reclaiming my time." Yeah. What he said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe it. Yeah, I thought I thought it was w- one other thing about the reality like reunion special that strikes me all the time is that they have to give everyone the same amount of airtime, even though the plot lines are pretty like uh, low stakes and high stakes. Like, obviously, the Jason and Chriselle thing is the thing everybody wants to hear about because mm. they're both stars. I don't know. Do we want to hear about Jason and Chriselle? Do I want to know about Vanessa's about engagement. 
to the British dude. That's no what idea. I want to know. <laughs> I don't know. She told. She said she manifested him. Yeah. That I was, was invested. Crazy. I think it's a beautiful love story. Wait, but Jason and Kushal, do we? Can I take a poll of the room? Do we believe that relationship? Well. <sighs> I Real? don't know. I do. I you do. do. Yeah. You think? Well, the thing is, like, on Jason sides, was very emotional. Feelings. Sorry? On both sides, mutual feelings. Because Jason could be emotional and have true feelings. Krishal could have just been along for the PR. I think, I think maybe, I think there is a chance. I doubt it. I think there's a chance that Krishal saw this as her opportunity to have a kid for before uh, like her relationship with someone like Jason. I j- I don't think so. think about it. Her they don't do the show like 8 months out of the year. They're just working together in the office. If they're that close like of coworkers and like have that much mutual respect for each other, it fully could have just happened organically. And Christine did say that they changed the storylines based on what happens in their personal lives. Actually, there's mm-hmm. another detail which I actually really made me believe it which was that the most important parts of the relationship like how they got together and when they broke up were off camera mm. that made me believe that it was actually that it was almost really to real. say they didn't happen oh, no come on <laughs> <laughs> you're right breakups only happen on camera <laughs> tina that was hurtful that <laughs> good it was supposed to be that was a <laughs> dumb thought <laughs> Maybe that was the freaking point. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. Whoa, that was uncomfort. Are you okay? <laughs> what? I was <laughs> imitating Tina, but I was also that was a uncomfort. Uh, <laughs> uncalled for. I oh, uncalled for. I, I was you... saying it in her choppy Minnesota accent. <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you doing, wiggling over there? I'm waiting for you to say something worth listening to. <laughs> Whoa. You want some ice for that burn? Well, keep waiting. I'm sorry. Bitch. I'm sorry. I lash out when I feel attacked. <laughs> I'm, sorry oh for, I'm sorry for attacking you, Tina. I didn't mean yeah. that. Yeah, no, it's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> if Tan France was here, he would not stand for this. He would. He would Hi, me. I'm Tan France. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you guys believe that Christine missed the reunion because she got COVID? Oh, my gosh. No, and we have to talk no, about this. No, not at all. Because she could have dialed in the way Amanza did. Yes, exactly. Yeah. She could and have then dialed did, in. Did the apparently in the interview on Call Me or Call Her Daddy? She, I was gonna say Call Me by Your Name. <laughs> <laughs> you With friend of the pod, that. Army Hammer. <laughs> what if we were like Army Hammer defenders? That was like our one weird position. We were like, I don't know, guys. He didn't do it. Yeah, <laughs> he did nothing wrong. I would eat him too. You eat people. I eat people. <laughs> We've all done it. Yeah, when in Rome. Uh, yeah, huh? but on the saying? podcast, she she said, "What what were we talking about?" Oh, the podcast. Uh, uh, Christine not being present at. Oh the yeah, reunion. she yes. said two days later she had this huge important campaign that she had to do, and she tested negative two days later. But then I don't think you can test negative two days after being. She said she was incredibly sick the day of the. Yeah, you mm. wouldn't test negative. That you wouldn't test too. negative that quickly. Yeah, so it was of it being was- symptomatic. She couldn't have written a little write up for to send them. Yeah, send there's just so something. many things you could have done. Yeah, you could have you could have even right filmed back. something. Or like, I honestly feel like they would have moved the shoot date for the reunion. Yeah. Like, oh, if you're sick and can't do a Zoom, wait, let's wait 24 hours till you're able to do a Zoom. That's true, and they know that Christine is the most important part yeah. of the show. <laughs> So if they're going to move anyone's schedule, like they're obviously, but it, I can see a world in which all the other girls are so banded together that like if they move stuff around for Christine, but like it was a day like Emma couldn't do it. Mary and Chris Shell were like, no, we're not doing it unless Emma's here. Cause mm. I feel like they yeah. are all close friends. Yeah. yeah. But I don't, but it took them so long to get Christine <laughs> out of the, yeah. Group. I think that they probably like, I, I think that she didn't want to go to the reunion because she knew that not being there, she'd still be talked about. And that's smart. Genius PR. PR, move. yeah. Genius. I will say, say what you want about Christine. I do think she's very smart. 
I think she's a genius. Oh yeah, I think she is very smart. We want to get her on. We're we're trying to get her on. (laughs) And you know where you know where she got her smarts uh, was at that school for outsiders that was (laughs) full of trafficking victims and pregnant (laughs) girls. (laughs) That was that taught her business hustle. (laughs) Because that's what. What? Oh, that was wild. That was. If you got, if anyone watching or listening doesn't know what we're talking about, we've mentioned it a few times. Christine Quinn did a uh, interview on Call Her Daddy podcast, which is available on Spotify. You can watch or listen. Please do because it is insane. Tina, you had the best analysis of it. Yeah, you want me to say it? Please do. <laughs> of where you think it can? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Well, she gives a crazy quote where she's like, "I went to this. I got taken out of school. My mom couldn't homeschool me, so then I got put in a different alternative school." With all these characters, all of society's icons, she sounds like um, I'm gonna change what I told you it was, but okay. she sounds like when like you did you have to write an essay in English class, but you didn't read the book, so your friend <laughs> yes, <laughs> so your friend gives you a summary, <laughs> but like That's they it. also didn't read the book. <laughs> That's it. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> it's the perfect analysis. The it detail is the perfect about analysis. nobody reading the book is so good. No one read the book, but it's like a game of telephone. <laughs> yeah. It is so, it's such a good, yeah. By the way, I can't, bl- I still can't believe her name is Christine Quinn. Just because if you're a native New Yorker like Lucas and I are, you may remember that Christine Quinn was like a n- New York politician power lesbian. No way. Yes. Chris- I didn't know that. That was my <laughs> first association with the name Christine Quinn. If you're New Yorkers Quinn. like me and Lucas, I was like, I'm not going to know this. Uh, maybe she was a Manhattan person. Like she uh, like worked okay. in Manhattan. There were these rumors that, like, things would happen in public schools because, like, PTA moms would, like, sleep with her to, like, get, like, what they wanted. It was so Where funny. is the pilot? I want to watch this. this. I want to watch this. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I need to, like, research her life. I need to know. But oh, my God. That, when I found out that Christine from Selling Sunset's last name was Quinn, I was like, is there just a non-toxic Christine Quinn that exists anywhere? I think oh. with that name, you have to be a little toxic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> you name your child Christine Quinn and she becomes just like a horcrux. Yeah. 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 It's a great name for... I mean, she self-describes herself as the villain. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great name for a villain. She also says that she, like, is giving, like, Elizabeth Holmes, and she's like, oh, yeah, I love scammer vibes. I love being yeah. a criminal. <laughs> there, do you believe anything from the interview was true? Well, here's the thing is, like, I was thinking about this because I was like, first off, if you, if you say you don't believe her, you do come off sounding like an asshole a little bit. But I also think <laughs> – I think – What I think I've decided is that it's less important to me if it's true. And it's more just I've realized that the way she uses whatever she's saying just comes across so manipulatively to me that, like, Mm. that's the part that scares me about her. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. But there is one element. It was right at the very beginning where she says for everyone. Well, she she also says that she's real on the show, but she's also a character on the show. Yeah. And that's very weird. But But then later she'll be like, I'm always my authentic self. Yeah. And like she built her whole, she's building her whole like brand. Like her book is like, be yourself, like all of that. And that's like, yeah. you literally are saying that don't judge what you're doing on the show because it's not, <laughs> it's a character. Yeah, she says a lot of hypocritical things. But they really softballed her in that interview. They did. But there was something that I couldn't help but agree with her on, which was that she said, look, this is a reality show. We book like every single shot you see, the like the, location is booked weeks in advance it can't be natural it can't be a natural conversation what you're seeing is very heightened very edited and i was like you know what i really believe that well the editing especially yeah 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 i mean no one is questioning i think that reality show is is not authentic but it is not necessarily i would not go as far as to say reality tv is fake I would just say that, like, obviously things are edited to make people look like Mm. they said this or that. That's why there's now, like, communities on Reddit for being like, was that a Frankenbite? Did she mean to say this? Here's what this person said about it on this podcast. What's a Frankenbite? A Frankenbite is when you hear on a reality show a sentence that sounds like it's two different cadences or two different, like, pitches Oh, it's, I know what you're talking, but it's, but it's, you're basically like, it's making a sentence out of like different parts of a video. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. a great name for that. So yeah. if we did that with you, it'd be like, you could be like, hi, I'm Tina. And I'm a bitch. You, you could know. never piece together different. You could never do a Frankenmite with me because my intonation changes so much <laughs> that it would never sound natural. <laughs> I think your intonation is pretty much You're realizing I now have to make a Frankenbite of you. <laughs> yeah, good luck. <laughs> yeah, we have to cut together Tina like sounding racist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get just crazy in all of my sentences, the different intonations. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> Yeah, Tina? No, go on. <laughs> I've never known for a fact something's gonna be used against me later. <laughs> <laughs> Until right now. Until right now. Until this moment. Yeah. It's because we care about consent. <laughs> <laughs> Speak for yourself. Oh. <laughs> I, care, I care about sexual consent, but not Tina's consent about oh, yeah, editing yeah. her words. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. love the phrase Frankenbite. I'm into that. It is a good, it's a good word. It's a yeah. good word. Yeah. It sounds like something a non binary person would name themselves. <laughs> <laughs> They call me Frankenbite now. Uh, <laughs> Frankenbite can't pick up their shift at the cafe today. <laughs> can you have a? Uh, can you have sock step in? <laughs> have you seen that meme about like sock can't do the dishes or something? What? Yes, the toxic I non-binary not, no. roommate. Yeah. It was like roommates in Bushwick be like sock says you're using their neuro your neurotypical privilege to like make them do the dishes instead. I think that's so funny because I've I've known so many people like that where they're just like. <laughs> Un incapable of taking <laughs> responsibility for anything. <laughs> I, it's wild. It's really wild. Oh, I've I've never seen this meme format. I've never seen it. I've well, no my idea. favorite story That's about bad. it is like I know of two roommates who like one guy had like seen the meme and the other guy hadn't, and the one guy messaged the guy who hadn't seen it, being like, "Hey, you ever meet anyone like sock?" <laughs> the guy was like. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> but the one guy was just trying to see if the sock meme had like made it into the canon yet. Okay. All right. <laughs> Could you imagine getting that Cultural message? Chance. You ever meet anyone named uh, You ever meet anyone like Sock? Yeah, Sock Frankenbite. Yeah. Sock Frankenbite. Sock Frankenbite. <laughs> oh, so my name is Sock Frankenbite. Uh, do you guys uh, name your your first kid uh, Frankenbite? I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Yeah. Frankenbite Sock. <laughs> oh, you're just gonna do it? Uh, yeah. Oh, hey, cool. Okay. Hey, what's up? I'm Fra um, Frankenbite Arnold. What's up? <laughs> Sock Frank Frankenbite sure. Arnold. I yeah. love that yeah. in your dreams, your child is going to have an even deeper voice than you. Yo, yeah, what's up? <laughs> hey, what's up? My name is Sock Frankenbite Arnold. <laughs> you may know my dad. <laughs> There's a comic why is you your, sound Why like, is but... your kid such a frat, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you raised him. That's Because my dad you. raised me right. Uh... <laughs> Lucas, Can you, you imagine Lucas imagination. raising a frat, bro? Uh, yes, I can. Oh, easily. <laughs> I can I'm imagine that being his kid's way of rebelling against him. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, sure. yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to yeah. make TikToks for non-binary teenagers, Dad. <laughs> I want to join the football team. <laughs> <laughs> I want to join the football team. <laughs> <laughs> can you move us to somewhere there's a football team? <laughs> yeah, there's no football there, here. <laughs> no, there isn't. There was no competitive sports in my high school. Not even an option. How do you feel about that? I could have, I could have had a life. You think that was your future? It, it was. Look at me. I'm a classic <laughs> shoe in for the football team. I'm not. I really want to throw a pillow at you and say catch, but I don't want to hit your microphone. <laughs> yeah, please don't. <laughs> do you think Lucas would beat you at basketball? No. No. <laughs> no. And I've been described at, at basketball as not great, and I still think I would win. Who described you that way? Well, can I say, you, well, you, for, well, first off, you play basketball not infrequently, and I never play basketball, so right there. Yeah, but when I'm. You have a clear. I mean, I'm, I'm also the, like, starting. Like, okay. I'm just. I think it would be at the. I don't think you could say experience is the reason I would. When you're you more play experience. basketball, I'm going to start playing with you. I need some exercise. Not on the weekend. Softball. But yeah. I'm, about, I'm about to do it during the week, too. Let's, let's you know, okay, find let's a way. Let's find Hello. a way. Let's play some basketball. You got a basketball? Because I don't. I do not own a basketball. <laughs> no, but I don't own you one. You know, I've been thinking about getting one, so. <laughs> Something I've been saying, though, is we got to make basketball smaller. <laughs> How small? How, what are we talking? I don't know. I'd have to see it, but I, you know what? I would You'd know have it when to I see it. <laughs> if 
somebody could draft up like some I don't know what the perfect size is, but I know it when I see it. I know it when I see it, and well, actually, I'll know it when I feel it too. I guess oh. what I'm saying is, I want to be able to palm a basketball. Oh, okay. and to do that, I need it a little smaller. <laughs> I think we should make them smaller too. I think they should be able to fit in the palm of your hand. They should. They should Tennis be ball white. Size. They yeah. should have seams on them, like two oh, seams. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They they is that is that seam red by any chance? Yeah, yeah. The seam should be red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The oh. threading. Yeah. I have mm. the exact. Uh, I have mm. the exact thing in my mind. And it should have been... Um, does it bounce very well? I think it doesn't bounce that well. It doesn't bounce that well, but sometimes it mm. takes weird bounces on uh, AstroTurf. Oh, yeah. okay. Are you playing baseball on AstroTurf? You can. Oh, that's right. You play... Uh, They're allowed to. You, Yeah, no, I've been to one of your games on AstroTurf. I'm not just discriminated that was fun against day. anymore. That was great. Oh, yeah, you guys came to my to my softball game. It was a yeah. wonderful day. <laughs> it was a fun day. You got to watch me bop around. Yeah, yeah e you're a hard hitter. I was eating I was eating a sandwich. I was having the time of my life. I can't remember if you guys watched me make any plays. I think we did. We, we definitely went, go, Gabby! We definitely did that a lot. Oh, I think yeah. you guys watched me catch a pop fly. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of those things where i was like i don't remember it but i i can say yeah i know it, i know when i see it oh. i know when i see it but you know what i think they should make the baseball smaller <clears throat> yeah i think they should make them how tiny bouncy uh, ball size gumballs gumballs Whoa. i want to be able to get a, a baseball out of one of the gumball nope. machines <laughs> for oh a quarter <laughs> that would actually be an interesting challenge playing like trying to do baseball with but with a gumball size ball yeah almost sort of like a sport <laughs> Are you saying baseball is not a sport? <laughs> no, that's I'm saying the hypothetical game that Lucas just invented. Yeah, it it sounds a lot like a sport. What is a sport to you, Tina? <laughs> What's a sport? Sort to of like when a te when a team gets together, when a crew, when a <laughs> group of friends. <laughs> uh, the, you talking about the freaking Breakfast Club? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot like that. Mm. It's uh, a sport is kind of one of those things where you know it when you feel it. <laughs> <laughs> You know when you it's feel kind it. of a, a I know feeling. when I see it. Yeah. Oh. yeah. You know, the, the, in that case, the real estate group. Real yeah. estate is a sport. They oh, play for sports. for sure. It's yeah. a game, at least. Yeah. Oh, this is a fun Selling Sunset question for yes. both of you guys. If if the Selling Sunset women and Jason and Brett were like a sports team, mm. like let's say a basketball team, how do we think each one would fare? I don't know the positions in basketball. Listen, I don't either. I, <laughs> people see me come to a, a, the pickup basketball games and they're like, okay, half court. <laughs> You're a fucking fraud. <laughs> no, I think I'm just learning. You got to okay, start somewhere. How do we think all of them would be at sports? I think, I think Jason, well, they're, they're pretty muscular. I think that they yeah. probably know what they, they, they're probably athletic. Um, I think that, I think Mary. Are the, are the, the women realtors, are they wearing heels? because <laughs> you know that they have that whole sequence that whole montage of them falling oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that was funny. <laughs> they they are forced for the sake of this to wear athleisure they can't wear heels they have to be dressed in such a way where like they they are playing a sport they make mm. sneakers with heels they do michelle wolf has them yeah does she really that's awesome yeah she always wears them on like specials she always oh, wears like high iconic. heel sneakers yeah she's great cool. yeah cool. i think that i actually think mary would be good I think Mary would be really good. I think she would be unnatural. I think Chriselle would try the hardest, but I think Mary I don't think would... she would be that good. I don't think Chriselle would be that good. Yeah, I think Chriselle would want to, like, if we're talking baseball, I think Chriselle would want to play third base, but ultimately would play second base because she wouldn't have the arm. I think Mary would be the shortstop. Amanza would be in center field. Um, Jason would uh, try and play first base, but he's too short, so everyone would be mad at yeah. him. Oh. Um, and then he would want to hit really hard but he wouldn't be able to so he'd throw his bat on the ground <laughs> well <laughs> yeah wait oh chelsea the new the newest one of the season what what position do you think she would play which one is chelsea she's uh she, in season five she's the black woman oh yeah yeah oh what do you think of her in general i i like her it like surprises me that too. she's friends with uh christine that doesn't surprise me at all no i think she like has fun with christine yeah, yeah. I see that there's she's, she's very rational. Like she, she is. She, she always makes she a lot of sense. She brought up a lot of good points. Yeah. In the in the reunion. And I think that was kind of smart casting because she. I think the drama with Christine was getting like so. Uh, it's good drama, but it was getting like so much that it was kind of nice to have a fresh voice who's yes. like 
Uh, don't forget you guys are ganging up on her at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Well, also, I think the reason that sometimes that drama gets too much is, like, they're literally expecting Christine to, like, tell the truth and give rational answers. It's not going to happen. Yeah. Chelsea is, like, Christine, just, like, tell me about yourself in general. And that's a more fun yeah. mm. friendship. Yeah. You're not going to get the full truth out of Christine. It really humanized Christine, too, to oh, have... Yeah like a nice friend there <laughs> i like that they were like doing bits her and yeah. chelsea are yeah, constantly yeah, yeah. doing bits. that was bits. sweet it was nice. yeah like i would get high peasants <laughs> yeah what it a good cute. bit they, they adorable had cute little... they were so i want like her and chelsea on the podcast oh that that would be good. well do you know that i think they they're gonna have their own show <sighs> called real estate bajants i think that's gonna be a good show i think it's gonna be good that's gonna be i'm gonna yeah. be tuning in you're gonna tune in what are you gonna what are you gonna tune in for the show <laughs> what i don't know Wait, why what did you mean <laughs> i don't know why i asked you that i'm sorry I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be tuning in for the bits for the houses for the mm. shots of the ocean <laughs> yeah i was wondering like what you like how you guys thought it would be different than selling sunset more cuts to random dogs <laughs> that's what i want i want more cuts to random dogs that just appear <laughs> wait yeah this is a phenomenon we noticed which is that every time there was like an emotional like <laughs> an emotional thing it would be like all of a sudden someone would have a dog in their arm that like wasn't there in the previous shot <laughs> and they would zoom in on the dog as well yeah and it's like oh, where did the dog come from <laughs> yeah that's incredible yeah and it happens multiple times oh yeah no when <laughs> Do you remember at like the, the when they're showing around the OC office and then Jason is is like really getting to grips with like, do I want to have a kid? It's like that conversation and like Amanda is crying because she's like, you'd be so good. There's such a dog that appears and they <laughs> zoom in on the dog for like five seconds. Is yeah. it Nico or Zelda or is it another dog? I don't know. Uh, probably one of them. Yeah. Sorry, you guys can tell the difference between Nico and Zelda, right? I can only tell the difference between Brett and Jason. I can't tell the difference. I can't even do that. <laughs> oh, you'll get there. You will. I no, I think I, I purposefully will never internalize that information. You know what's funny is I think I once like was like, All right, Tina, uh, this is a picture of one of them. Which one is it? And you got it at right every time. But I was guessing. Yeah, but you still got it right a hundred percent of the time. Well, yeah, but that's because I'm a good guesser. Okay. Potato, potato. <laughs> what makes someone a good guesser? Instinct. Skill. Uh, <laughs> educated guesses. <laughs> <laughs> a good I've education. been honing the craft of guessing for years. <laughs> wow. It is, wow. Yeah. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. Guess what age I came out of the closet. What well, time one is One time it? I guessed what kind of pet you had growing up. And I was right. Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious. I feel like that's yeah. like an easy one. Okay, what was it? You don't remember? No. Do you want to guess again? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember because I wasn't guessing. Wait. Well, guess again. What kind of I can't right now. <laughs> Wait, I'll guess a cat. I had a cat. Yeah, of Whoa. course I had a fucking cat. I'm a simp for cats. I had yeah. a really fat cat named Sebastian. He was so fat. Aww. Sebastian, cute cat name. Yeah, you that's said you it, don't is. like pets that much, right? That is not what I said. Everyone, loved, I'm afraid of most. You said pets. you kick dogs. That's what you said. And, right? that, and again, <laughs> that's what you said. You kick dogs. I'm gonna go and call her daddy. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! She's gonna softball you so hard. She's gonna be like, you so need to clear Gabby your and name. Lucas attacked yeah. you. And I'm gonna be like, yeah, play the clip. <laughs> it's gonna be a Franken bite. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we hate Tina. <laughs> and I'm like, Tina's by like, the way, I agree. <laughs> Christine's gonna be there, and I'm gonna be like, don't do their podcast, girl. <laughs> <laughs> she never you're you're to in you. passing. You're gonna catch Christine yeah, in passing. I'm gonna yeah. catch Christine in I passing. I think you should follow up if she's willing to go on call her daddy. Maybe she's willing to be on this podcast. Well, know. you guys aren't part of Barstool Sports. We got to get you there first. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Barstool, if you're Barstool watching Sports, this. if you're listening, whoever does the the She did hiring. not even read my message. <gasps> you should reach yeah. out to her booking agent. Does she have like an email like inquiries? Oh, she it? so does. I didn't want to respond properly or reach out properly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it's that time. I think we're getting desperate. You know what else I think it's time for? Oh. I think it's time for listener submissions. Oh. I agree. Because we have some insane ones. Oh, yeah. Are really? 
Let's get the fuck into it. Okay. You can crack your back by flexing your butt muscles, or at least I can. What, what if that I wasn't a submission and Lucas just said it? <laughs> <laughs> but now on to the submissions. <laughs> uh. Teach me. <laughs> I would love that. Yeah, if anyone knows how to teach us that. I can. I'm trying to do You guys like when it. someone cracks your back? I love it. I love. I like when someone walks on my back. Oh, Same. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you guys want to walk on each other's backs after this? I'm we, not kidding. I so can. Yeah, let's do We it. can order food and walk Ooh, on each other's backs. Ooh, that's Whoa. nice. Let's do it. Can we get sushi? We can do anything we want. Team, We're do adults. You like sushi? Yeah. We can get a full cake if we want to. I I, I don't want a full cake, Lucas. That's really What do you offensive. want to do with a full cake? Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> what am I not going to do with a cake? If we cake? get a full cake, can we push someone's face into it? Hey. <gasps> oh, my God. Can we do that at and? Tonight? Wait, we could do cake sitting and start OnlyFans. Oh, we should figure out ideas for uh, our Patreon while Tina's ask. here. Because I yes. feel like she'll have a lot of like sick and disgusting ideas for us to... Yeah, and by you're... sick and disgusting, you mean that in the cool way teens once used it. <laughs> sick <laughs> and disgusting. <Yeah. laughs> teens in the 80s yeah. were always like, that's disgusting. Yeah. But they meant it in a good way. I right, bring up another yeah. one. Hello, Gabby and less hot co-host. <gasps> So Wait, let me read that. Whoa. I didn't make it up. That would be so oh weird. Oh my gosh. It, it is what it says. This is the one I wrote in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. No, continue, 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 continue. I Dang. don't need advice. Just a funny story. Ooh. Context for story. Love me story. and my girlfriend are in high school, and both of us have taken at least some type of sex ed. Okay, so my girlfriend and I talk a lot about random shit. And one day she was like, okay, be honest. Have you found your clit yet? I like be honest. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. So I was like, yep. And she told me that she didn't know where it was. By the way, this wasn't any type of kinky flirting. We were just seriously talking to each other. It would be okay if you were flirting. So I was trying to explain to her where it was over text. And she started freaking out and crying and told me she didn't think she had one. And by the way she was describing it, it seemed like she genuinely didn't. Eventually, she figured it out and is now living a clit-filled life. I feel super bad because that must have been scary, but we laugh a lot about it now because it's been a few months. Also, you guys talk about taints a lot. Is that just a common adult topic or a niche interest of yours? <laughs> First thought, a- w- you guys don't talk about taints a lot. Gabby, you talk about taints a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't bring up taints. That no, often. Gabby, that is you, <laughs> and it's not common. <laughs> and it's also just one joke you're trying to make work. Yeah, you're <laughs> I taint that interest or whatever. <laughs> and it's been going on for so long, and it hasn't caught on. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a niche interest. If you're at a cocktail party as an adult, don't bring up taints. There's no need. No. Who's going to cocktail parties? Well, this person is describing like an adult thing like oh like is this an adult oh, thing yeah, to yeah. talk is about like is this is you this guys a convers- going to cocktail parties uh I you don't describe us as adults i've no? been doing a i've been to a cocktail party wow. i have for real yeah. yeah you put on your nice shirt you get all dolled up yeah and you talk about taints <laughs> you do <laughs> yeah you talk about taints yeah no <laughs> it's just a whole party where gabby's just like you guys want to talk about taints <laughs> I would love to see Good you make, impression <laughs> you know, those little conversation card decks that people like, no, yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. you just write on it. Taints. <laughs> taints. <laughs> Sounds like my legacy is tainted. <clears throat> wow. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. My Moment dad died a year ago. That. How dare you? <laughs> It was this worse? <laughs> what just happened? How dare you desecrate this? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. That was out of pocket. But, um. <laughs> oh, like how the taint is a little pocket. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my gosh. I will say it's impressive how much you can pull out of this. <laughs> yeah, like a pocket. <laughs> yeah, like how much you can pull out of your taint. Okay. Well, first off, can I just say, I thought that the oh story from the submitter was actually kind of adorable. It's, so it's a really cute so story. Sweet. I also think um, something I would have done is in I, if you're if you're an iMessage, you can actually do a drawing. You know, you can draw, and then you get to watch the thing. I would have drawn a little treasure map with an X where the clit is. Oh, Ooh. that's would have been a fun little. Is that thing. how you get the ladies mm. draw on the treasure map. That's maps? actually how I sexed. Is I say, hey, like, look at what I'm. <laughs> and it's, <laughs> it's, it's all stick figures, but I'm like, you get the picture. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. With what are you going to do to me, Tino? To clit? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you then don't I even draw the clip. You clit. You just write clit. Yeah. Oh in the and I'm like, hey, do you think I would look good with this kind of hair? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this reminds me of a story that uh, when I was in college, I hosted a uh, a Bob Ross painting party, but we charged at the door and we donated the money to Planned Parenthood uh, so that they could paint on it like this giant canvas. And there was this uh, girl, a friend of mine, uh, her name is Amanda, and she was a uh, sexual health and assault peer educator. And, uh, she, and so she would like teach people about like, um, safe and fun sex practices and, and like how to use adult and was and was like educated on like bodies and she Why'd drew you put quotes around educated well because she drew an anatomically very incorrect vulva <laughs> she funny. drew like if that's like the whole vulva she drew like the asshole right at the very bottom of it with like no space for a taint or anything and, and, I, and I called her out and I was like that's not where the asshole goes and she was like fuck like See, this is taint erasure all over again. Taint erasure. And taints you're, are the you're bisexuals of the body. <laughs> <laughs> Famously. <laughs> Gabby's always trying to get us to join her taints rights campaigns. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and that's in your bio. <laughs> I, I want to change it, but like my family follows me. I don't. My mother's gonna be like, "Sweetie, sure." This is your family secret. <laughs> this is my secret. Um, oh. Great story, submitter. Great story. Really Very cute sweet. story. Uh, I really like that. Do you know where your clit is? Did you misplace it? I've been looking for years, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe you left it at the laundromat. Mm. Could when be. you were washing it. Yeah. <laughs> When I was giving it a Listener, little you have to wash Wringing it, it out to dry. Yeah. yeah. I'll say, too, I, I mean, I, you hate to say it, but it is, it's tiny. It's hard to find every now and then. Mm, so, you always. know, give that girlfriend a break. There are some <laughs> abnormally sized clits in the world. That's true. But, yeah. And they all matter. N- yep. Okay, Clit go on. rights. Clit, Clit rights. rights. Yeah, no, taint rights only. Taint rights only. Okay. Clits don't matter. Clits, Clits have too many rights. Wow. Clits, have, <laughs> Clits have had their day in the sun. They had yeah. talked about too Frankly, much. Frankly, I'm over, I'm over Clits. <laughs> <laughs> I tell this to my girlfriend. I'm like, babe, I'm over Clits. I'm, I'm over sorry. Your Clit? Like, done that. Done. Done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, there's this really popular couple that's been together for a long time at my school. But recently, I heard that the girlfriend was getting annoyed with her boyfriend because every time after they had sex and dapped her up and then went on to do whatever it is he wanted to do next not sure which part is worse wait so every time after they had sex he would go like yeah are you not supposed to do that (laughs) (laughs) is that what you do unfortunately that's my vibe (laughs) yeah it is your vibe Uh, that is that is like hell yeah dude (laughs) crushed it (laughs) we crushed it tina you look like you'd say thank you after sex what's wrong with saying thank you uh, you're not supposed to ever say thank you to anyone if you're a, a feminist. Mm. And what makes you think I'm a feminist? Um, you're right. I shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> you really, you really got me in a bind here, nah, Tina. You got me in a um, bind. Yeah, I dabble in feminism. It's you true. dabble. Yeah. You dabble. It's true. The way Tan oh, Friend says this. Yeah, yeah, do you yeah. The way Tan Friend says that people. In- Dabble in uh, non-binary people. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I say one more thing about Tan Friends in that reunion? When he asked who dabbled, they were like, Mary wants to say something. And she was like, I really don't want to say something. My parents watched this. My parents watched this. That made me think that like Mary had like had a serious girlfriend or something. No, that oh, definitely came yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. thought. Yeah. yeah. Cause the way she was saying it was like not like I, I- also felt bad that I do think she genuinely didn't want to talk about it. And I was like, yeah, don't make her talk about it. <laughs> she has bi vibes. I yeah, think. for yeah. sure. Yeah. Oh, I, I could see it. Yeah. Yeah. I Easily. do think, what do you mean talk about? It was, I mean, it was so surprising when Chriselle, in such a good way. Yeah. And you know, what's, was with you know what's really funny yeah. is that in their posts, like G Flip and Chriselle is like making fun of herself a little bit. She was like, oh, I guess this isn't how, this isn't how you make a baby. Like, yeah, she was like making jokes about like her entire vibe on selling sunset, and I thought that was really nice. I feel like it's it's like a totally different side to Rochelle that we're seeing. That's really fun. Dude, yeah, Rochelle's funny. It's we goofy. should have yeah. her on the podcast. Too. I would yeah. love that. Well, that's another thing is that with like with Christine on um on Call Her Daddy, I so desperately now want to see someone else 
from the Oppenheim group on a podcast like that to have as free a space to talk to, to see yeah. to as like to provide some contrast to Christine. That's what, and is there, if you had to pick one person, would it be Chriselle or would it be someone else who you would want to see on a similar podcast? Mm, who are the other women? again? <laughs> I, I honestly would pick Chriselle. I would pick Chriselle. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a reason why we went as Christine and Chriselle for Halloween this year. It's because Aww. they really are posed as like the diametric opposites of the show. Oh, and yeah. it's because they both have star quality. Yeah, that's true. I would I would actually, I would say there's one more person I want on our podcast. And it's Davina. Because I think her worldview is so sick. <laughs> <laughs> what? Describe her sick worldview. How? When you say sick, do you mean like sick? Oh, I think she's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I want to be yeah, her. She's got the sickest worldview. She's got such a cool vibe. I think... Christine really is like an entrepreneur who's trying to make herself the most possible money she can with whatever lies she can. Yeah. But I don't know if like intrinsically she is a bad person. I think Davina is a terrible human being. Mm. Also, you know that conversation she had with Chelsea where like Chelsea really like came for her. Mm. Chelsea did interviews after that were like, Davina hit me with racist microaggressions every day in the office. And that's what all that buildup was. Mm. Whoa! Which doesn't surprise me in that the sucks. fucking yeah. slightest. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't surprise and me. And makes me feel like maybe Christine is a G. Like the the fact that like maybe she's the one person Chelsea feels like safest around, like the one white lady in that office. Yeah, the one uh, that actually, I believe that because I, I see like they really bond over like their vibe and their yeah. lifestyle and the way they ha share like a sense of humor. They like they really see each other as people that they can yeah. like share and it, it's yeah yeah it's, I I. Yeah, I believe that. I, I believe Davina, every time I watch her do an interview or, like, see her, do, like, read an interview, I, like, crack up because I'm like, who could think this way? I've never seen her in an interview besides the uh, reunion. I can't, <clears throat> I can't picture who Davina is. I don't know who this is. <laughs> Davina is the one who tried to sell a $75 million listing. Oh, Okay. Yeah. brunette yeah you, yeah you know her yeah she's the one who had like fresh fillers like the day of the reunion and yeah. her lips were like out to here this is davina yeah but let me see the photo just oh yeah yeah bad vibes you wouldn't you wouldn't be her friend D no <laughs> <laughs> who would you be friends with from the show I think Chriselle, I'd, obviously i think i'd be friends with amanza she seems really cool oh, she's yeah. a little bit girl boss but like well they're all she's right Wait, what do you have against girl boss as I was say, you can't be on Selling Sunset without being a girl boss. That's true. Well, you know about the girl boss girlina spectrum. What? I've talked about this before on the podcast. Like, come on. <laughs> a girlina <laughs> is like a girl criminal, and a girl boss is like a girl who buys into the capitalism of every. So, like, Thelma and oh. Louise are girlinas. Oh, okay. That's are really fun. Boss. I've never heard this. We came up with it at my grad school. <laughs> Shout out to Molly and Anna if you're listening, which you're definitely not because you don't support me. No, I'm kidding. Because you, cause you are afraid of what I can do to, to your careers with this podcast. <laughs> Tina, I forget how manipulative you are. Yeah, Tina, you're so... That is not... I'm fun. <laughs> I forget how I just shouldn't trust you. No, you should absolutely trust me. With your life. <laughs> it's upsetting because when you say that, I'm like, yeah, I trust her. <laughs> no, and, and actually, end of the day, I think you should. I hate this so much. At the end of the day, I do ultimately trust you a lot, but it's not a good choice. No, I think it's a good choice. I would never intentionally do anything to hurt someone. I okay. hate the way you speak. Okay. The way you speak is like, man, you could just be manipulating us right now. That's you true. Could be but no, I actually truth. do genuinely mean. I mean, I buy <laughs> the more genuine you. <laughs> this is this is not going well, Tina. <laughs> This is how Christine's interview on Call, Call Her Daddy should have gone. <laughs> we would have been, been like, it's tough genuinely. to believe you. <laughs> can, can I say, like, we uh, we talk about, like, Christine. I would genuinely love her on, and I would love to, I, I would love her well, on we the would ask so her much. question. Tina and I were talking before yeah. we started recording about how, like, the Call Her Daddy girl, like, made, like, she sounded like a fan. Yeah. She sounded like a fan, and I do think... If you're going to interview Christine, like, you have to, like, at least address with her, like, you have to admit the way you're, like, you come off as, a, like, manipulative. Yeah. Like, I would love to hear Christine's thoughts on how she, like, is, I would love to hear, like, someone be like, a, well, I guess we see that on Selling Sunset, actually. Yeah. How she's, she just kind of manipulates her way out of it. But no one ever, I feel like, 
directly addresses her in saying like you deflect yeah Mm. right and i would love to see that because she does she's very smart so she's able to be like you're not being very like supportive of women right now because you're asking me why this timeline doesn't add up you know and that's why i think you come off as an asshole when you like don't Mm -hmm. agree with what christina's saying Mm -hmm. because she does frame it in such a way that it's like no i'm the victim I think you and christine would actually be really hmm. good friends you you guys would get along very well well you're and that leads me into watch the next season of christine's new show <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna i don't want to give any spoilers but you're gonna see a really it's her chelsea a and really just hot person <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna be like oh they're so funny who, does, who is not in real estate but is just there for the vibes yeah and you're gonna be like wow they they they've got something <laughs> you're like sitting next to them eating little gem salads together like How's it going, guys? Good? I would love to be in a shot with them eating because they'd be eating their little salads. And I'd be like, can we get like a burger or something? Like They do get burgers, Christine though. Christine likes burgers. She Christine loves is- burgers. Oh, that's true. She famously loves soda, fast food, all yep. that stuff. Because she wasn't, al- she wasn't allowed, allowed to them. have it yeah. as yes. a kid. Oh, my God. Well, yeah. that, I, that I actually do believe. I do believe that. I believe she came from a very restrictive house, and that's why she but does that's, this. But I, I think the way she uses well. that story so a, yeah, is to be like, no, I'm relatable. Like. I yeah. don't know. It's the way that she uses where I'm like, I think you could be telling the truth, but you're using that story in such a calculated and like well-planned yeah, way yeah, 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 yeah. that yes. I'm like, that scares me. <laughs> yes, I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah. Also, so we have one more submission. So, hey, sluts. Love you both. Keep up the good work. They're talking to you. Okay. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. I I just have a quick question. I'm in a new long distance situationship with a guy that I really like. It's been going well, but sometimes he gives me details that are just TMI. Like he talks about his zits, how sweaty he gets, etc. And I just get grossed out pretty easily. How can I tell him that that kind of stuff makes me uncomfortable? Mm. I have an idea, which is you... Next time you're talking to this guy you're in a situationship with, you could be like... There's this guy that I work with or a friend of mine and just make up someone to be like, he always talks about like his zits and how sweaty he is <laughs> and all these bodily shit. And I don't want to hear it. Can you believe someone does that? Yeah. Always yeah. avoid direct uh, conversation and just uh, do the manipulative thing. Exactly. Instead. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what we've learned. That's what we've learned from Christine. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. What would you say to that, Tina? I don't know. That's tough for me because part of me is like, you know, be comfortable with bodies. I agree. But then the other part is, yeah, you could set a boundary. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah, it sounds like in that way, you guys are like different kinds of people. I love like talking about like my poops. and As do I. Yeah. 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 I would go direct. I would do the opposite of Lucas. I would just go direct and set a boundary. No. Uh, yeah, you should. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> you should do that. I yeah. would do the good thing. <laughs> yeah. No, it's. I know. I think Lucas has a, a valid way. I just, me personally, I would well, go direct. Sh- well, this person says that they're very afraid. And so if you're if it's something you're really afraid, there is a way to talk about how what your gut emotional reaction is, which is very valid. There is a way to bring that up that isn't quite as maybe you're afraid of it being an attack. And this is a way to make it seem like so it's not an attack, but you create a straw man and then you uh, attack the straw man. (laughs) I love the phrase straw man. (laughs) I I use a lot of law lingo. (laughs) Is that a legal phrase? Yeah, like a straw man argument. You were a paralegal. That's just during the day. (laughs) (laughs) You're like on severance, like your memory gets wiped. (laughs) Tina, it's daytime. (laughs) (laughs) We shouldn't be reminding people that Tina is... uh, works a day job and yet is here <laughs> yeah and no, you know yeah. what there's a lot going on behind the scenes for how that happened it's fun <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god incredible oh. um okay well uh um, read another one this is fun i don't, I don't think there are any more for, at least for today okay i got one. <laughs> oh, you do <laughs> nah <laughs> make, make one imagine up. one of your listeners though had submitted one to me That'd wait be fun. do you have do you have anything you just want to bring up Anything at all? Yeah. Bring Free something form. up. Freeform. Because oh, we no. could ask you how you Chef's perceive choice. yourself. But uh, we, we already did that with you. And and I don't think you have any updates. Unless you do. On how I perceive myself? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> no, actually a new thing that I've realized about myself is that I love to to dabble in something for a little bit. 
Oh, just like what Tan France suggested? Yeah. 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 So recently I've been having sex with women. <laughs> what? I'm joking. Wow. I yeah, would never, you do, would that. never do that. No, What's that like? I've like, never done that. It's It would blow your mind. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's that, uh, go- how's that going for you? The little hobbies I'm picking up? Or yeah. sex with women? Yeah. Uh, uh, sex with women. Sex Tell with us- women is a little hobby. Neither of us have had sex with women. We need to know. It we need is. to be told about what it's like. Yeah. Okay. Well, you guys ever been walking in a forest? <laughs> I've, I'm familiar with wood. Yeah. And you're like, ooh, you feel the moss between your toes and that you're going to... Oh, we're Why barefoot. You barefoot? <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get gangrene, dude. <laughs> Sorry. You're having sex with shoes on. <laughs> okay i do have sex with my socks on i do i knew that about you before you said that without, without you having ever told me i was like gabby's having sex with socks <laughs> <laughs> no, i did not know this that is the most but that- you knew it like in your heart no i have never thought of that you've never you're, thought you're filling me. out a questionnaire you're, you're taking a little test and it's like yeah. does gabby a have sex with the questionnaire? well now you put it like that obviously i do yeah. the questionnaire i, I keep obviously. on your file okay yeah. sure 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 yeah oh well, yeah, do you do it every time you have sex you you keep your socks on not if it's you're like having t- a quickie socks on or off um n- not if it's like too warm if it's too warm i won't but if it's like what it's is as too warm, needed it's, it's as room as temperature as Room temperature, I prefer the socks on. It just makes you feel more comfortable. Women, biologically, like, or, like, AFAB people, like, it's, like, a thing that, like, if your feet are too cold, it's harder for you to reach orgasm. No, that is actually a thing for... Well, that makes sense, yeah. I think all people actually... You just need is to be it, more comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. I think that can, is a true thing. You can Google yeah. it. I know I am. I believe you. No, you can look it up. Okay, I will. You can ask Jeeves. <laughs> no, I... Listen, I'm into science. <laughs> You can ask Jeeves if he keeps his socks on. I'm going to go on DuckDuckGo. And say, <laughs> <laughs> Are women You're not getting tracked. I'm going to go on yeah, Yahoo.com. Google is not going to use this data to sell me later Wait, Tina, uh, socks. <laughs> Tina, have you have ever had sex with your socks on? I have a have couple times. Do you want to know what socks? I think the most on-brand thing about me is? Yes. is? I've had sex in a basketball jersey. I think that's so that's on-brand so, for me. On-brand. Yeah. Wow. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. wait, so you're saying you dabble in things. Oh, yeah, I dabble in things. So, like, and I kind of, like, recently realized it's reached the point where I've done it so much that now it's a pattern. So, it's, like, I've dabbled in, like, juggling, and now I can uh, juggle. Or, like, I'm dabbling in pool right now. Oh, yeah. Like, billiards. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the pool. I'm That's familiar, like, yeah. I'm familiar with her work. I know about, I know about yeah, billiards. Yeah, I'm dabbling yeah. in basketball, you know. I dabbled we, had a hell, in, we had a hell of a pool game uh, a couple yeah, weeks ago. Yeah, for the record, I beat Lucas. You did indeed. You beat we me. We wouldn't mm-hmm. even have needed to hear that to know it was true. Yeah. And, to, and I'm only dabbling, so like, wow! I'm not you really need to. You really know how to just beat a dead horse. <laughs> you really know how to kick a guy when he's down. You know. Does it make you feel bad that I beat you in pool? No, it doesn't. And why is that? Because I, because you're a friend, and I'm just glad you did well. Thank you for calling me a friend. That was so nice. Would you call me a friend? Uh, uh, you both only, if, only, only if you call didn't me beat me in pool. <laughs> okay, yeah. If I win in pool, I'll be your friend. Yeah. But are you guys not dabbling in things? It's just one of those things where I'm like, I think one of the things that gives me the greatest joy in life recently is I like just dabbling. learning new things for yeah, no that's reason. Wonderful. Yeah. It's good to have like hobbies and things that you're just still like exposing yourself to. And yeah, and keep, I think yeah. it's also nice to to approach something and be like, I know absolutely nothing about this. I like uh, that. Yeah. That and is very I like good. yeah. That's I like very healthy. Learning things. So healthy. I've been doing it though for like things that are way lower stakes than what you're doing. Like I've been really into no. Solitaire. All these things are low stakes solitaire yeah but, you, but i'm talking like dumb like i'm into like minesweeper no now. but that's what i'm saying because i'm learning dumb little skills do you think juggling is useful <laughs> i've been I, playing more sudoku sudoku's awesome sudoku is great yeah do you play like hard mode uh i i do hard mode but then there's expert mode and i can't do that expert Ooh. mode's really tough expert Too mode hard. is really that's for the tough robots. yeah <laughs> <laughs> that should be the the captcha which i thought was pronounced catchfa for a really catch-fa. long time yeah why would they spell it like that if it's Kapchka not? Kapchka is so mean, too. Kapchka. Yeah. Ka- Kapchka. They suck. Kapchka. Well, yeah, they're kind of like... Well, they're uh, Like, you'll point out a bridge. They'll be like, that's not a bridge. Yeah, and it's like, I think I know what a fucking bridge is. <laughs> yeah, if anything, you don't. And you're like, oh, it's a duck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> duck, duck, go. Yeah. Do you... What do you... What's the... What's the thing you've dabbled in recently that you like the most? Um, That's... That's... uh Probably... I think probably pool because I've just been meet pool is such a social thing. Mm. Yeah. Or it can be. 
I've met so many fun people through pool. Yeah. That that's you just really go fun. to a bar and be like, hey, want to play? Is that what you do? Yeah, basically. Okay. Or I mean, like, so much of pool is like, uh, you want to get on the table, so you gotta be like, you basically the quickest way to get on the table would be to just challenge them. Mm. So like, you have to play someone. That's pretty sick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's fun. It's been fun. And then and then every single I played with so many different people that they all teach me something new every time. Whoa. Whoa. And so it's just been very fun to be Wait, like, what, what, I'm what just, have you learned? Um. I've learned that one person told me that I have a very good eye, which nice. is nice to say when I don't have many other pool skills. <laughs> um, I learned the like how to put my fingers down. Someone taught me that. Mm-hmm. There's like an actual way, the form, the actual form. Oh, yeah. I learned follow through. Someone else taught me you got to follow through on the shot. Yeah. You learn the things like where the uh, triangle is. I didn't know that was kept just above where the balls are. Mm-hmm. Had a bartender Do show you, me that. Is there an order to where the balls go in the triangle? <clears throat> so someone needs to teach me that. <laughs> yeah. If you are listening Still. in, please teach us yeah. that. Listener I've just been doing it. Just randomize every time. Like yeah. setting it up in the triangle. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely want to play. There's got to be. An order. I love pool. Yeah. I love pool so much. I think I it's such it. a fun. Just like. It's a great game. Yeah. But I think there's such a fun culture around it too. I started. Not the, like toxic ca- straight men playing it. But oh, like yeah. the other people have such a fun culture. I actually looked up. Uh pool tables that you could convert into a dining table because i was thinking of replacing this one that would be so cool that would be great that'd be a lot of fun it's it's very simple it's just yeah. like it's a pool table but then they have like uh you just put a cover over That's it yeah and then you just have slats here, that you put you don't on need yeah. a dining yeah. table but you yeah. do need a pool table i would love have you considered it. foosball <laughs> i'm not as into foosball Foosball's no awful. me either but that i think it'd be funny if you had it <laughs> just living my best friend's <laughs> lifestyle yeah <laughs> Foosball's the fucking worst. It's not fun. No, yeah, it doesn't have any fun culture. Around yeah. it, I do get really intense and competitive when I play it, though. Yeah, pool, everybody though, does. Yeah. It brings out the worst in everyone in like yeah. just absolutely terrible way. But when I play pool, I feel like a gentleman. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I'm, everyone feels. Every, I will say, even the worst people look cool playing pool. Yes, yes. I think that's is why so I like true. It. Yeah, yeah. I like adjusting people's grips playing pool because it and it's. Me I was gonna say it's such a good date activity because like everyone looks yes. good doing it. Yeah, it's so. It's so easy to do physical touch. And it's always in like a someone. darkly lit place. But darkly like the, lit. there's like light on the pool table. It's like very seductive. Yeah. Have you yeah. played pool on a date yet? Uh, Not per se a date, but I have played pool with someone and then I've made out with them in the bar after. <laughs> Whoa. That's You'll have hot. to tell us who this is. Yeah. Off wait, can you wait? Oh, who made the first move? How did that how, play by play? What happened? Well, sort of, you know, <laughs> you approach the pool table. <laughs> You both pick up the stick. Are you saying the again. table made the first move? <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's what I'm saying. Is, is the table really owed? I owe all the credit to it. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> no, be proud of the table. Oh, I'm so proud of the oh. table. Yeah. Table, if you're listening, well, come on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, I love table. On this podcast. <laughs> yeah. No, pool, great, though. I do think it's my favorite thing that I've picked up this year. I've also started doing it more and more like I did it at Silly Goof Mike. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've played on that Bar. table. Great table. Yeah, I played there right before oh, the mic. Oh, that pool table's fun. It's yeah, a good one. Go back. That it's one costs one. money, though. I guess the most of them cost money. They also have, like, the shorter queues, so you get to experiment with different size que- uh, queues. Yeah, they have I the like really small baby the one, tiny which one. is so yeah. It's like a starter pack of queues. It's the chode. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, Tina, when you're here, I have to do it. I have to try and mimic that really Yeah, I was going to say, burp. can we turn that into a little clip that goes, gets no, a ton of views? because there's <laughs> And then nothing... people message it to me and are like, ha-ha. <laughs> rumbly than the one you did it can never oh, be topped yeah, yeah, it can yeah. never be topped how did you feel about that when i posted that i mean it's it's obviously funny and i think it's funny can i, I t- do think it, the funniest thing was having people send it to me and be like this is like what's going on I'm like, can I t- <laughs> what do you mean what's going on someone I got edited asked, this i got asked about that clip multiple times the day i posted it what are they people were like, asking huh what were people asking they were just like oh my god lucas that clip you posted amazing they weren't really asking they were just saying it was hilarious i will say it was just I recognize, like, obviously, I'm funny, so I'm like anything with me in it, funny. But <laughs> damn, <laughs> it Whoa. was one of those things where I'm like, why are people finding this funny? You're pretty naturally funny, I will say. Yeah, that. you are. But my, I will my... say that was one of the few times where I'm like, I don't get the joke. <laughs> well, I think that's what made it funniest of all, and that's what made it funniest of all. Because no, because I thought it was a funny clip. You're always the smartest guy in the room, so so and get to get to the, knock you down a peg. The thing that's really funny about it, at least for me, was that I could. Is, is watching your face while you're burping and you're trying to you're keep trying it You're trying to conceal it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so hard. That's what's funny. It's oh, it's hilarious to see someone, like, struggle against something. Like, trying not to... <laughs> 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 
like, like trying to keep yourself okay, from laughing. Okay, there's our Franken bit. We <laughs> just yeah. take that out. <laughs> oh yeah, this is that was so awful. Franken burp. Yeah. yeah. I'm the one who edits the podcast. Those I can are the t- non-binary twins, Frankenbite and Frankenburp. Oh, yeah, Aww. and Captcha. <laughs> like, oh my god, yeah, someone would totally name themselves Captcha. Yeah, we got that's tweet the fraternal that triplet. This. Yeah, ah, Captcha socked into the dishes again. <laughs> oh my god, so many non-binary names to keep track of. Yeah, um, well, I think we day. should stop recording so we can order sushi. Yeah, we yeah. should do. We gotta that. get on that. Tina, uh, do you want to plug your butt? <laughs> <laughs> I meant plug any upcoming shows that you have. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be on your show on... Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, it's going to be really yeah. good. On uh, uh, Sunday, some, May... When uh, 29th. May yep. 29th at QED. Nice. At QED. It's going to be so good. And then I'm actually hosting a show on Thursday, June 2nd at Star Bar, 8 Whoa. p.m. Oh, it's with Matt. With Matt Albino, fabulous nice. comedian, my best friend. Uh, it's we're going to be, we're so be hosting. Yeah, it's going to be so fun. Um, it's called DOMA, Defense of Marriage Act. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. I've I been learned told what about DOMA this show. is. I've been told about it. I'm yeah, very excited. Yeah, it's going to be really good. Yeah. I think we should defend marriage at all costs. And Finally, yes. someone says it. And I think someone should explain to me what DOMA is. <laughs> 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 yep. Uh, and then you can find me on the socials at, at WMBA Wife. Nice. I got it right this time for you guys. <laughs> Great. That's all we wanted. All we needed. I got uh, my 24-hour Kiss Club show on May 28th. The link is in my bio on Instagram at Lucas T. Arnold. Um, I'm doing a fun comedy game show about sports. Uh, June 5th at Brooklyn Comedy Collective. Cute. Nice. Uh, hosted by Cole Stephenson, I think. Uh, hopefully I got it right. Uh, so that you don't cut it to a, a mean little clip of me getting the name wrong of someone who booked me, like you did with Aaron, and hmm, that's funny. That that's great. really funny that we did. We love fucking with people in the clips. That was great. Yeah, <laughs> you guys uh, would make great editors on a reality TV show. Oh, I would hate that job, but I would have fun for a day and then be like, okay, you would this hate is- how good you are at it. <laughs> Am I right? You would feel power. guilty. I'm, yeah. I'm afraid of my own power. I'm afraid of my yeah. potency. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we got an Anne Hathaway present show, like Tina said. May twenty yep. ninth at QED. I got a bar uh, show on Tuesday. Just follow me on the on the gram if you already follow. don't. Just follow me anywhere I go. I do. Tina, you follow me on Instagram? Mm-hmm. No, in life you follow Gabby around. All around. That's how Sneaking I found this place. Sneaking around bushes, like, hey Gabby, you gonna yeah. follow me into the bathroom when I pee after this? If you ask, yeah. <laughs> Tina, can you follow me into the bathroom? Yeah. On air, yeah. Look at my taint. <laughs> 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 I expose my teeth and then Coming it never turns clit. off. <laughs> <laughs> Why is my clit in my butt? Adults don't talk this much about taints. It's me. It's a niche interest. It's wild how much you talk about it. It is yeah. insane. <laughs> it's it's honestly wow. Well, I taint. Sorry about it. We've been two nosy meerkats, and we toodaloo. Clearly, Enjoy hate yourselves. you all. If we're gonna we'll make see it. you next week. Goodbye. <laughs>